Welcome back guys, welcome back to my channel. What is going on? How's everyone doing? It is quarantine, that was creepy, that just kind of opened by itself. Okay, it is quarantine Wednesday and we are going on day, gosh I don't remember what day we are in quarantining in Sugarland, Texas. I have lost track of the days, I totally thought today was Tuesday. Um, today's video, I wanted to put together a home gym. This will be using just things like around your home. So I'm gonna build a barbell rack. Let's make our own. First things first, I need an energy drink. That's the first thing that we're gonna do. And then we are actually gonna drive out to, I believe it's Katie, because I have a friend and one of the affiliates on our team is a nurse. I have had my manufacturer making masks, medical like grade masks for the local healthcare workers. So we got 500 of them in and that was a gift from our manufacturers. Just like, hey, we wanna donate 500 you know, masks to you guys. And I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are able to make masks. So now I'm buying masks. So I have another 5,000 coming, hopefully in the next week and then possibly getting more. Yeah, that is kind of like what we're doing right now. So today I'm gonna go and meet Kenna and bring her 500 of those masks. But I did want to bring up a point to you guys that you can actually make your own masks at home. My mom is actually back in Alaska, my mom and two of my sisters are making masks and I believe they made close to 100 or over 100 now and they take a while. But if you know how to sew, you have a sewing machine, I would suggest making masks for not only yourself, but medical workers, reusable. So they're eco-friendly, you can use it and then put it in the autoclave or um, at home, and you just wash them and you can wear them the next day. So they last a long time. Definitely suggest making your own, yay. So I'm just gonna grab a 3D and I'm actually gonna bring, I'm actually, I think I'm actually gonna bring Healthcare workers, some 3D. Everyone could use a little bit of energy right now. Let's do this. A little hot and sweaty. Just. I tried to paint my nails last night, guys, and um, well, I guess you could say it didn't go well. <laughs> this is what my nails look like. And then my other nails are really bad, so I try to paint them, but um, I don't know, just, I feel like they took forever to dry, even though it's like the insta-dry one. I have one nail polish at home, and it just won't, it takes forever to dry. I feel like I would wait there for like five minutes, that felt like 20 minutes, and it just wouldn't dry, and then finally I'd touch something and mess it up, and it's like, I don't have an hour to just sit there and wait for my nails to dry. Actually, I do have an hour, am I kidding? I am. Busted. Fuzzy's hanging up. Okay. Alright, guys. I'm going in. Okay. BRB. What's up, guys? Alright, I'm home, and for today's video, I actually wanted to do a home gym tour. I put together a lot of things that you would find in your home and I'm gonna show you different ways to use it, a way to build a squat rack and all types of fun stuff. First of all, I haven't done this yet, but I had the idea of doing it and I was like, I just think that'd be so smart. So, we are building a barbell rack. Okay. Yeah. All right, we got a mop, we got water gallon jugs, Oh, oh, not good. Oh god, okay. Ha! I'm put some here so this can topple over. Good old case of 3D. And a meatball. <laughs> okay, I'm putting the meatball down. Squat rack. Let's go a little heavier. So I put four gallons of water on here. Okay. Hit. In my little home gym, I have a backpack over there. Game changer. Backpack. Get your snacks in there. Right here. I'm sure you guys have seen this on my channel, but it has a little. Cooler compartment, 
Bustbunny.com if you want one. It's a really big backpack. So I have three liters of laundry detergent. I'm gonna put a second three liters in here just because I am more advanced. Obviously don't feel like you have to put that much in here. It's a good size. Tighten the straps as tight as possible. Doing this is actually gonna give me a deeper range of motion when I'm doing this exercise. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab both the straps at the same time. We're gonna do some deadlifts. So, I'm gonna do some Romanian deadlifts. So, down and up. Oh, that feels pretty good. Mm. Woo, okay. Take a little break. It's hot in here, oh my moly. Also, you can do a lot of cool things with this backpack, guys. If you follow me on Instagram, I actually posted a lower body, upper body, and ab workout that you can do with a backpack. I'm just gonna show you guys a couple things. With this backpack, you're able to do upright rows for your shoulders. You can do, this gonna be too heavy, but <laughs> curls for the girls. You can actually do some front squats. God, what squats would you wanna call them? Split squats. Regular squats with this on your back. Ooh, that's a good size too, yeah. Overhead tricep extensions. Hit. I would suggest lowering the weight. It's pretty, it's pretty good. <laughs> Two, I would say like good sized cans. It's not enough weight for you. You can double it up. For me, the water bottle's a little heavier, so I'm gonna use these. Lateral, front, back to the sides, back down. So, lateral raise, go to the front, back, and down. Whee! <laughs> Another one that you can do for biceps is you do a static hold with one arm and you curl with the other. So while this one's working, this one has resistance, so it's gonna make it a little bit more difficult. And then the other one. I mean, you can do these exercises, guys, like while you're watching TV, hanging out with your kids, make them do it with you. If you guys are struggling right now and you guys have a lot of anxiety, this is a really tough time right now, don't feel like that you have to work out. For me personally, obviously, health and fitness is a huge thing for me, but, I'm not trying to get in the best shape of my life right now. I'm just trying to stay sane. <laughs> this is helping me stick to a schedule. This is, this is helping my mental health, my physical health, by having a routine and doing this. You can also do them at the same time. And then on the way down, just go a little slower. It's gonna make it a little bit more difficult, especially if the weight's not as heavy as you'd prefer. You guys can keep using the water bottles if you want, um, or you can go up and weight these upwards like this, and we're gonna go up. And this is gonna work your triceps, which is the back of your arms. Currently drinking an aloe vera juice. This is a aloe vera juice. <laughs> and this is a split squat. We're just gonna use laundry detergent. For this next exercise, we are doing the adductors, also known as the inner thighs. You can hold a small object like a pillow. It doesn't have to be heavy. Like the main thing is just squeezing them between your legs. So you're gonna lay down and you are going to hold this between your legs and you're just gonna pull up. <laughs> I'm already shaking. Ugh. You're gonna go on your tiptoes and you're just gonna thrust upwards while keeping the pillow between your thighs. You're gonna feel that on your butt and your inner thighs. Hit. If you guys. I don't know if you can see me shaking. Oh, it's hard. If, if you actually keep back on your heels, it's gonna be a little bit easier. You're gonna get more of your glutes. So if you do them like this, it's still fine. You're gonna get a little adductor, but more so your glutes. You wanna target your inner thighs. Try going on your tiptoes. And you're definitely gonna feel more. In your inner thighs. Put your foot up. This is gonna be a full body movement. You are going to go down like this, right? You can do this exercise on your own. This is gonna target your lip, lower body. Uh, but if you want to put a little upper body in there, you just do a little whoop. It is gonna require a little bit of balance though. So, just be wary of that. Why am I so better balanced on the other leg? Hello? Oh my God, I interrupt this workout to show you. We bought a bird feeder. There's two birds on it. It's a party. I'm having away. Hello, friends. Guess I'll go back to partying alone. It's fine, I'm fine. All right guys, here's another one for triceps. All you gotta do is drop down, drop down, drop down. 
you're a beginner, make it a little easier. You can actually bend your legs uh, 90 degrees. And it's gonna make it a little bit easier on you. <sighs> Try to work on your booty gains. Here is a little booty builder that you can do at home. This is pretty stacked full of weight. Uh, get a backpack. I have two gallons of laundry detergent or water bottles, whatever you want. Just like fill it up and then step on your scale, see how much you are before, and then step on it with it. You can kind of like test the weight. All right, lean up against your couch or chair, and you're actually going to push. You're gonna thrust. This is for the glutes, hamstring, basically a glute hip thrust from home. Next up, this is a good one. You do a squat, but you're gonna keep your shoulders in a front raise position. So you do front raise and squat. And squat. All right guys, there's a couple different ways that you can do abs, but if you have two rags at home, a t-shirt, something slippery, and a um, hardwood floor, tile floor, vinyl floor, I'm just gonna use the end of the mop because that's what I'm using for my squat rack. So I'm just gonna use this side on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, grab whatever you have and a couple different exercises you can do. Start in this position and you're gonna go in. Go crunch. I can't do that many of them though in a row. It's hard. All right, I feel like that was pretty good. That's gonna be the end of uh, my workout for the day. Her body actually feels pretty pumped. Hey, rest of my day is gonna involve cleaning the design room once again. My last video, I was like, guys, design room, I like organize it. I did so much. However, however, this is a mess again, let me show you. This is literally daily because we get so many samples every day that it's like impossible to keep up with. But let me see if there's anything I need to not show you. I mean, this is a, this is a design room right now. Uh, there's some stuff behind too, I just can't show you. And then the desk. So I feel like it's just a bottomless pit. It's never completely clean because as soon as I clean it, then it just turns into a mess again. So it's like a constant, it's a constant upkeep of organizing, cleaning, organizing. <laughs> I did want to say that by the time I upload this, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my Instagram page where I'm giving away a game changer backpack that you guys can be working out with. I'm gonna put some one-up supplements in there. I'm gonna put some Sour Strips candy. I'm gonna put some stickers, some glute bands, some socks, like all kinds of like little things in there. I'm picking like five winners to give those to. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me, it is Buff Bunny. I'm gonna be trying to do more and more giveaways, especially during this time. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. And please, please, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you liked it and I will make some more videos soon. If you guys have any suggestions for quarantine videos, make sure to comment below as well. I would love to know what type of other videos you guys wanna see on my channel during this time. Love you guys. But if we take a moment to get closer, closer to the things